Republican Congressman Dave Brad is in a tight re-election race against Democratic challenger Abigail Spanberger, a former CIA officer who will be our next guest. Congressman Bratt is in the normally safe Republican Virginia district, uh, which he won in 2016 by 15 points, while Donald Trump was winning the state of Virginia by five points. Now Congressman Bratt believes he needs Donald Trump's help. Today, the president tweeted, Dave has my total endorsement. Also today, Congressman Bratt issued this statement. As a Christian, we love the least of these. We visit those in prison. As a member of Congress, one of the most moving experiences I have in this job is talking with recovering men and women, fighting to rebuilding their lives. Fighting to rebuilding their lives. That was their choice of words. The congressman issued that statement after a recording became public of what he said when he was speaking with prisoners at a county jail in Virginia. You think you're having a hard time. I got five million dollars worth of negative ads coming at me. I think I'm feeling. Right? Nothing's easy for anybody. You think I'm a congressman? Oh, life's easy. This guy's off having steaks. Bowl of right? I got a daughter. She's got to deal with that crap on the TV every day. Right? Democratic candidate Abigail Stanberger tweeted this. It is absolutely shameful for Dave Bratt to compare the hardship of addiction and the struggles of recovery to his campaign. This is an affront to every person in recovery and the Virginians who die daily due to their addiction. Abigail Spanberger is one of many Democratic women running for Congress for the first time. Before I announced my candidacy for Congress, I chose to serve my country. I bled on foreign soil for people to have the right to vote. This is the first time I've run for office. I have never run for political office before. I, I started realizing maybe I should run myself. Like, all right, let's go, let's do this. And come November 6th, I will continue to serve the people. The people of Michigan. Of Pennsylvania. New Jersey. Kentucky. Virginia. The people of Texas. I will continue to serve the people of the United States of America. Are you ready to serve America? Joining us now, Abigail Spanberger, the Democratic nominee for Congress in Virginia's 7th District and former CIA officer. Uh, Abigail Spanberger, I want to get your reaction again to what Congressman Bratt said. We heard him telling people who were uh, in jail and struggling with their addiction problems that he has problems, too, because he's trying to run for re-election to Congress. Yeah. yeah. To me, his comments were just emblematic of how out of touch he is with the challenges people across our district are facing. I spend so much time going across our 10 counties, talking to voters, listening to the questions that people ask, listening to people's concerns and very personal, personal stories. And the idea that um, someone in a position of elected office, someone in a position of power would sit before people facing incredible challenges like substance use disorders and, and their own recovery and compare it to an election experience is just uh, kind of beyond the pale for me. Uh, opioid addiction has hit uh, the country hard. It's hit your, hit your district in a, in a serious way. Uh, Donald Trump running for president said he was going to address this. He was going to fix it. The problem was going to go away. Uh, what has uh, President Trump, uh, what have you seen in your district that President Trump and Congressman Bratt have done? So in our district, like so many districts across the country, uh, the opioid crisis and, and substance use disorders continue to really impact people across the district. It's, it's one of the top issues that people talk about. Um, and, and we need to make a lot more forward movement. You know, Congress uh, passed a good bill uh, recently making some forward progress, but there's still a lot to be done. We have uh, the, the rates of, of death by overdose in our district and in the state um, is now, it, it's, it is continuing to rise. It's surpassed um, other causes of, of premature death. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's gotta be a focus that people uh, continue to have. And, and I think looking at these comments, the, the real issue is that you know, when when we are looking at the challenges facing people who uh, are struggling with substance use disorders and, and recovery, it, it needs to be um, we need to hear their stories and we need to listen to the challenges that, that people are facing in with substance use disorders, with you know, healthcare related issues and, and really try to find solutions. What is your background as a former CIA officer uh, bring uh, in terms of, in your view, in, in terms of an asset to your possible service in Congress? 
So my background with CIA is, is, is one of service, first and foremost. I was serving the mission of, in, of helping to keep our policymakers, our president, our military, and our diplomats informed about issues of, of national security. And, and in order to do my job well, I needed to spend a lot of time listening, listening to people, asking the right questions, seeking to understand really complicated, interrelated issues. And so I think that's an experience uh, from a values perspective. It's a focus on service to this country, but from a skill set, it's a focus on really, truly, deeply understanding complicated issues. Uh, less than three weeks now in what is traditionally a Republican district. Uh, you're polling very close uh, uh, to the incumbent Republican. What is there left to do? What is the closing case for you to make uh, to your district? At this point, it's an issue of turnout. We have had over, I think it's 137 events, meet and greet events across the district. We've done forums. We've done uh, policy-related events. We just had our first and only debate with my opponent this past Monday. So we've, we've, We've done all the right things. It's about turnout at this point. We have an incredible field operation on the ground. We have incredible volunteers, over 4,000 volunteers registered with our campaign. Just getting people excited, making sure that people know that their voice matters and their voice counts, um, but their voice their voice has to be heard and it has to be heard at the polls. So making sure people know, you know where to go to vote and how to get there and uh, ensuring that they do. What has been uh, your biggest surprise as a first time campaigner? <sighs> For me, honestly, the, the biggest surprise that I've had is the, the level of personal stories, the, the depth of real personal experience that people are willing to share with candidates, with, with me, because they hope that my story, that the story they share with me will inform decisions and policy objectives that I, that I may pursue later. And the trust that people put in you on the hope that you might someday be able to help them is really profound and, uh, and very, very special. Abigail Spanberger, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button below for more from The Last Word and the rest of MSNBC.